So hello friends, Tanya here with Peace for Mind Yoga. I wanted to share with you our Holy Week message that I've been sharing with all of my students in my group classes this week. I know someone needs to hear this truth today. I know it resonated strongly with me this week during our final week of Lent, during Holy Week, Passion Week, as we make our way to Resurrection Sunday. Allow me to share a truth from his word with you. I invite you to get comfortable wherever you are. I'm seated on my mat and I'm gonna stay right here. If you'd like to stretch out um, on the floor, on your mat, just make sure you're comfortable and allow this truth just to wash over you, okay? Isaiah 53, five. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our sins. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. Isaiah 53, 5. Lord, may these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock, my redeemer. Psalm 19, 14. Inhaling calm, friends, and letting go of any feelings of chaos. Taking time to inhale the Father's presence and letting go of any fear. Inhaling him and exhaling you. John 3.16 reminds us, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And Hebrews 12.2 reminds us to run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and the perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning at shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. The word that hits me there every time is joy. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross. He did that on our behalf. It's powerful. Writer Susie Eller says this, Because of the cross and your belief in Jesus, you are free from the burden of earning your way to relationship with him. You are free from guilt and condemnation. You are free from the penalty of sin because Jesus paid the price on your behalf. We remember Jesus' ultimate sacrifice on the cross on that Friday so long ago. And as we do, we can receive the gift of freedom that Jesus gave to us through the cross. In that one act, he offers forgiveness, redemption, and the power of his presence inside of us. So on the days you're tempted to beat yourself up because you fall short, choose to fall into relationship with him instead. There is freedom as you stand firm in his incredible gift there is freedom as you follow him daily and grow in your relationship with him. There is freedom as you live in relationship with him and nothing else comes close. Thank you, Susie. So friends, as Easter people, we are renewed, not rehabilitated. We are made new in Christ. We are covered in grace through faith because he lives in us and he shapes who we are. So setting our hearts and minds, being still and immovable at his feet, just like Mary, we strive to put heaven's priorities into daily practice. We concentrate on the eternal rather than what is temporary because, friends, we are free in Christ. When we follow Christ, we are free in him. Amen. We clothe ourselves with compassion, with kindness, with humility, with gentleness, and with patience. Colossians 3.12 so finally, friends, from his triumphant entry into Jerusalem to his true triumph over sin and grave, Jesus loves you totally and completely right where you are today. Lean into that truth. Follow him crossword and shift from self to savior. So friends, I wish so many blessings upon you all. Happy Easter. And as we turn and we look at the cross, may we always follow him, take up our, our cross and follow him daily and lean into him. Wishing you blessings and peace. Shalom. Thank you for joining me.